As global temperatures rise, carbon credits have emerged as a powerful tool to reduce greenhouse gas, GHG, emissions. By setting emission limits and allowing companies to trade emission rights, the carbon credit system incentivizes a shift towards cleaner practices. But how do carbon credits work and who buys them? Let's dive into understand the mechanism behind this climate solution. Carbon credits are certificates permitting the holder to admit a specific amount of GHGs, usually one ton of carbon or an equivalent. Each credit grants the right to release this amount, creating a limit on admissions through a system called cap and trade. Under this system, businesses can either reduce their emissions or buy extra credits to remain compliant. The system offers a monetary incentive. Companies that admit less than their allowance can sell surplus credits, while those exceeding limits must buy more. This design aims to create a market-driven approach to admission reductions, gradually lowering allowable admissions over time. Carbon credits rely on a governing authority such as the United Nations or the national governments to set up a emissions cap. Companies are allotted a special number of credits according to their admission levels and industry. If a company overshoots its limits, it must buy extra credits for those with excess, promoting a balanced market that discourages high emissions. The U.S. has a mixed relationship with carbon credits. 13 states, particularly in the Northeast, have embraced carbon credit markets, uniting under the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, RGGI, to address emissions collectively. California's cap and trade program is one of the world's largest carbon credit markets. Applying caps to industrial facilities fuel distributors, and power plants. In 2022, the Inflation Reduction Act was signed into law to strengthen climate incentives in the U.S. Among its provisions are generous tax credits for companies that capture and store carbon, providing up to $85 per ton for underground storage. This bill aims to increase corporate investment in admission reducing technology by offering substantial financial incentives. The concept of carbon credits was formalized in 1997 under the Kyoto Protocol, which set emission reduction targets for industrialized nations and encouraged a global admissions trading market. Under Kyoto, developed countries could sell excess credits to those struggling to meet reduction targets. The Clean Development Mechanism CDM, granted uh, credits to developing nations that pursue sustainable projects, helping them enter the market and contribute to emission reductions. The Paris Climate Agreement of 2015 sets more aggressive global goals to combat climate change. It included provisions for international emissions trading allowing countries to achieve targets collectively. In 2021, the Glasgow COP26 Summit advanced these initiatives, implementing Article 6 of the Paris Agreement, which encouraged cross-boarding trading and funding for developing nations to fight climate change. Companies face increasing pressure from investors, regulators, and the public to cut emissions. Carbon credits offer a way to offset emissions that are difficult to eliminate. For example, companies in high emission sectors such as aviation or manufacturing can invest in carbon credits to balance their emissions by supporting projects like reforestation, renewable energy, and conservation. Carbon credits have also become a cornerstone of net zero commitments, in which companies aim to balance emissions by funding reduction efforts globally. This way, even industries 
that can't fully eliminate emissions can work towards climate targets by offsetting their output through credit purchases. Only businesses and governments are permitted to trade regulatory carbon credits. However, voluntary credits, known as carbon offsets, are available to any entity or individual looking to offset emissions. In the voluntary market, credits fund initiatives that capture or reduce emissions, providing a more accessible way for a wide range of buyers to contribute to sustainability. Carbon credits represent a market-based solution for tackling climate change. By capping total emissions and enabling the trading of credits, this system incentivizes emission reductions across industries. Companies that exceed emission limits face higher costs, while those that cut emissions can profit by selling unused credits. The future success of carbon credits hinges on strict regulations and transparent systems that ensure emissions are genuinely reduced. As more companies and governments pursue carbon neutrality, demand for carbon credits will grow. While the carbon credit system isn't perfect, it provides a dynamic path to a more sustainable world, allowing companies to actively engage in the fight against climate change. While adapting to the challenges posed by an evolving climate, if you found this video informative, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you.